Station Avenue, we have Ashley Evangelista. Evangelista. I apologize if I'm betraying your name. Thank you so much for commenting this because I actually thought I had this video, but turns out I didn't. Hi, my beautiful homegirls and my handsome homeboys. So, I had thought that I already created a pirate, sh a pirate ship and bit cartel video, but yeah, apparently I didn't. I just touched on it um, in my strike video, so I'm going to go ahead and create it now. So basically, if you go to Bit Cartel, go to account, and then you scroll down, it's going to have this right here. If you go to apps and you go to browse apps and integrations, it's going to have all these different type of apps you can connect that will enhance your website. You know, you have the payment ones. You have marketing and promoting. You have manufacturing, shipping, and fulfillment, which the next video I'm going to do is going to be comparing all of these to each other because I only use Pirate Ship, but I'm curious about the other ones, honestly. You have store management apps and so on, so on, so on. So we're going to go here. You're going to go to Pirate Ship. And you're going to go to get started. It's going to send you straight to Pirate Ship where you can log in or create it for your account. Okay. So it's going to take you here. You're going to go up here where it says import from in, in, mm, integrations. You're going to go import from Bit Cartel. Now, if you had any orders from Bit Cartel, they would pop up here. Okay, but that is basically how you get Big Cartel and your pirate ship connected. So, if you go down to setting over here, setting, you go to integrations. Now you have here, you can click edit. And then see how it says, because I just did a video on whether it sends automatically. Here's how that, here's another part of how that works. You can change the setting for it to be sent automatically, okay? So it says, enable automatic refresh. If disabled, disable, you will always need to manually click refresh data. Then... Over here it says enable pirate ships tracking emails for Bit Cartel shipments. Bit Cartel tracking emails will not be sent. I want to repeat that. <laughs> enable pirate ships tracking emails for Bit Cartel. So basically, this is what this means. You have two options. If you enable this one up here, then once you finish, um, once you finish. Pirate ship is going to send them an email. But if you do that, then Bit Cartel will not send out their tracking emails. So you kind of got to pick which one you want to do. I would do Bit Cartels because I can, um, I'm just more familiar with Bit Cartel. So I would do Bit Cartel. But it's honestly up to you. Um, then, you know, you could have all of these in here. You can have, this is basically saying what orders are going to come through. So, if the payment has been completed, you check that. If it's pending, you can put here. I would always click pending and complete it, um, or just complete it. And basically, this is like what information is going to go from Big Cartel in here. So, if, let's say the person had an order but the money is still pending okay and you click pending in the setting that means all pending orders will still come and all completed payment orders will still come and then you have edit rubber stamps print extra information on the label if your data does, uh, rubbers cannot be added to international shipping labels. Yeah, so this is basically going to be like another um, 
this is for like another paper like i seen some people which i like to do on my orders they have you know the order they call it the order receipt so you will put the order items so this one is going to have the order items so in every single one is going to print out a shipping label and another paper with the order items save mapping because that's what I want mine to have on it then what you would do is you would go to view orders and then all of it will pop up here so you'll just click on whichever ones you select all which will be right here and then all of them will select and you can go ahead and create a shipping label for all of them you can play with it and all of that you can also create a single shipping label. You can upload a spreadsheet and then go from there. Then you also have schedule pickup. If you know me, you know I am good for schedule pickup. You will not see me driving to no post office. No, 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 no. I'm just going to schedule a pickup. So if you click schedule pickup, because some people have been... Um, you know asking me about this too let's read it pickups are handled by your local post office your regular letter carrier will attempt to pick up your packages when they drop off your mail if you require a specific time USPS offers that at usps.com slash pickup for $24 if nobody shows up the only way to find out why is to speak with your local post office Due to the pandemic, USPS is seeing an increased number of pickup requests. If you're shipping time sensitive orders, we recommend dropping them off at your local post office. So I understand why a lot of people are dropping them off at the local post office because it's quicker because of the pandemic. Um, I don't do a scheduled pickup time, but you know, I kind of paid attention to what days and around what times USPS comes around here. So yeah so you know pickup location would be wherever your place of business is and then you could put where would the package be and that's how i say my package is going to be in the mailbox office and so it's at the mailbox yep and then how many package you'll have um for each service so i usually do priority mail or first class so Say so you had 21 and then 56 and then you just put that all in there and then estimated total weight. So all of these combined and then request pickup and then they'll let you know and all of that good stuff. And that's basically the, you know, normal thingy thing of pirate ship. If you go to reports over here, it's going to tell you, you know, like, basically it's going to give you reports on how much, how much money you spent, um, where are the top states that, <gasps> sorry, where are the top states that, um, you mostly go to and stuff like that. Rates, you could just get a rate right here and basically, you know, where are you shipping to? United States, 29, 210. <laughs> Um, say it's one of these. I say the length is 10. I'll be making up random stuff by six. Let's say it's one pound. And the price on the nails are very light, so that's a bonus for me. Get rate quote. So basically, this right here it shows you the different prices for each one. And then most of mine is going to be like, let's see, 12 ounces. How much is 12 ounces? Yeah, so even if it's like 12 ounces, I will usually go over here and get the 404 one. Um, hmm, let's see if it's 20 ounces. Y'all yeah, just like to play with this. But basically, that's the end of this video. I'm, I'm just giving y'all a hint of how much it is.
and it shows you and the prices right here these are the price you'll pay and this is the price that it usually is these are like really the price that it usually is and everyone uses pirate ship because they give you good rates let's see if it was yeah i'm really playing with this because per um yeah and so the way i do my shipping is i have a flat rate shipping of four dollars and then I have a flat rate shipping of $4. And so per additional item, it's like $0.25. Cent because per additional ounce, it increases. So that's how I do that. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know, you know. Let me know if you guys want any more videos and i apologize because i kept telling y'all to watch my other pirate ship video and i didn't even have a pirate ship video out so yes yeah, so watch this pirate ship video before you watch my other pirate ship video <laughs> toodles pieces